what I was basically bedbound to what I am today. I mean, I've had over 600 severe life-threatening spasms, as you guys saw in the video, and those were all a small snippet of it. You know, that was nothing in comparison to what I've had. I mean, 61 spasms in nine hours, one of those going for two hours straight. I, every time I watch a video, and I tell you, I've watched them so many times, I've seen them throughout the media so many times, I still struggle to see it, you know, because I know exactly how much pain I'm going through. To be conscious, to know what's going on, it would be so much better if I wasn't conscious at all. You know, that's With a seizure and a spasm, a seizure you're at least out of it, you don't know what's happening until afterwards. With a spasm I'm fully conscious, hear everything, feel everything. The more I move, the more painful it is. The normal pain scale, according to doctors, is zero being no pain, 10 being the most intense pain you've ever felt in your life. I've watched my son have a pain of 14. That doesn't exist, but it happens. And many people with many long-term illnesses would be able to say, yeah, I've been there, I've seen that, I've done that. But one simple plant, one simple herbal treatment has totally changed Ben's life. I mean, this morning, for instance, I, I wasn't good. To come up and do anything like this, to be speaking in public, I, I, I frankly don't like it. I struggle with it. You know, I refuse to do a speech in front of 20 students at high school, and these days I'm doing speeches in front of 350, 400 people. I still don't like it, you know, because it's hard, and it actually causes me pain. But this morning, taking two medicinal cannabis tablets you know, has helped. I'm feeling a bit more with it. I'm not as grey and out of it as what I was. I haven't had a severe body spasm in 19 months. 19 months. <laughs> medicinal cannabis has saved my life and has been the best thing that's happened to me. And yet, this is something I refuse to go on. But I was just in that much pain that I thought, nah, bugger it, you know? Because if I don't, then I'm gonna be buried. I mean, my parents are both ex-nurses, so they've seen death, they've been around death way too much. They honestly thought they were gonna have to bury me. No, I knew. I knew that if there wasn't a change, that we were going to have to bury our son. Any parent, any parent, should not have to face that when there is a treatment option available. A treatment that works. A treatment that should be readily available for anyone. And yet successive governments continue to sit on the fence, saying we need the science. Mike Baird, standing at this lectern last year and out the front, we're going to prove the science. The science is long in, people. 50 years have been studying this in Israel. 50 years. Do we need to continue study? Yes, 100%. But we need to study the best method of delivery, the best treatment options available for different conditions, the best way to do this. We don't need to study this plant anymore. We need to get it out there so people can use it. We need to make sure that people can get access to this incredible plant.